Hi, my name is Sarah Bartlett. My research was conducted in Dr. Teresa Cully's lab, and I am studying the effects of UV light on sunflower growth. Light is critical for enabling plant growth because plants are able to use the energy that is in sunlight to complete biological processes such as photosynthesis. However, the quality of light is also a critical factor in determining how successful these processes will be. So, one of the ways that the quality of light can be assessed is by the presence of UV light. On the electromagnetic spectrum, UV light is a lower wavelength than visible light. Excessive UV light exposure can cause damage to cells and DNA. For example, UVB light causes sunburn in humans. While most UV light is blocked by the ozone layer, some UV rays still reach plants. Additionally, we know that the most effective wavelengths for plant growth occur at the blue and red spectrums for visible light, which is much higher than the wavelengths for UV light. In order to prevent overexposure to UV light in plants, modern day greenhouses normally have a glazing over the glass or like plastic windows in order to block some of the UV light from coming in. So in this photo of the greenhouse at the University of Cincinnati, um, this photo was taken in one of the rooms that has this glazing over it to block the UV light. However, if insect studies are taking place in the same facilities, much like in our greenhouse on campus, there needs to be rooms where there is not glazing to block UV light because it interferes with insect studies. For my research, I utilized two rooms in the greenhouse, one with the UV blocking glazing and the other with the non-UV blocking glazing. In them, I grew four different cultivars of sunflowers with 15 of each type in a room. I chose these four different sunflower cultivars in order to also be able to determine if UV light played different effects on sunflowers in accordance to their day length responses. Big Smile and Sanja sunflowers are considered to be day neutral. This means that whether they are grown in a day where they're exposed to 12 or 16 hours of sunlight, there's no significant difference on blooming time. However, Sunridge Orange and Zohar Sunflowers are considered to be strongly short day sensitive. This means that if these sunflower cultivars are grown in 12 hour days, they're expected to bloom two to three weeks earlier than the same sunflowers grown in a 16 hour day. Germination date, height, the number of nodes, date of first flower, the total dry biomass, and relative growth rate were all recorded for each of the sunflowers. In terms of number of days until germination, only the Sanja sunflowers showed a statistically significant difference in the number of days where sunflowers grown in the UV allowed room germinated sooner. As far as number of days to flower, both big spile and sun-rich orange sunflowers grown in the UV blocked room bloomed significantly sooner than their counterparts in the UV allowed room. However, from these results alone, I cannot conclude whether day length response times has any type of interaction with UV presence in the light because big smile sunflowers are day neutral while sun rich orange are short day sensitive. The most significant results from this study is that in all four cultivars, the sunflowers in the UV blocked room grew taller than their counterparts in the UV allowed room. Additionally, Big Smile, Sun Rich Orange, and Zohar Sunflower's biomasses were greater when they were in the UV blocked rooms. In conclusion, my research shows that sunflower growth decreases with exposure to UV light. This is particularly important to be noted in further scientific studies that UV light may play a role on plant growth. 
Finally, this information can be applied to other plant species in order to ensure the most advantageous harvest and growing seasons.